we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Welcome back to On the Off-Ramp. Today is March the 1st, and we are excited because we're starting to plan our travels for 2024. We've got our first camping site booked. We won't share with you where it is yet, but, but we are excited about getting ready to go camping in May. Wade's so excited about our first trip book that he had to hang, what was it, the receipt? The permit. He printed the <laughs> permit and it's hanging on the fridge door. So um, I'm not sure it needs to be there, but it's a good reminder that we will go camping because as you know, uh, if you've been watching our videos, we weren't in the van as we traveled into England and went to Tanzania and can go back to our channel, watch some of those videos, but we decided to stay home this winter. And so we are excited about that first camping trip. Yeah, it was nice because we got to spend some time with uh, my mom and dad and and, uh, and just with family and friends. So we spent a time, time of winter just at home. And it was a great winter to be home. Yeah. Manitoba can get horribly stormy and cold and uh, but it has been an extra mild winter would you say? It's been a pretty good winter yeah. so far. So as I was saying that today is March the 1st and uh, we have a storm watch coming in for Sunday. We're supposed to get a lot of snow or maybe some freezing rain. But we thought today would be a good day just to get outside and... Well for plus five Celsius this is a great day to be outside. Yeah. And that's Manitoba. It can go up and down. And Lots of snow, melting yeah. snow. This is the time of year for that. So it looks like March is going to come in like a lion, I guess, because the big storm is coming. <laughs> so, but uh, we are excited about camping for the summer. We've got our first trip planned. We're meeting friends somewhere west, but not all the way west. That's as much <laughs> as we'll say for now. But the other thing, Wade, is that we, when we packed up our van in the in our last trip of last year, there's lots of things we need to do the van, and we'll probably share that with you as well. Some of the stuff that just is normal maintenance, yeah. surprise maintenance, I getting ready to go on a road trip is not just jumping in the van. No, so if the van is in storage right now. We'll take it out uh, beginning of April somewhere. And then um, I want to try some new uh, repair places here in uh, Manitoba. Mercedes Sprinter van repair places are hard to come by other than Mercedes themselves. So, uh, we'll see what we find. Yeah, we'll see what we find. We found two, I'm just trying to make arrangements. And, and we'll see how that goes. We'll keep you updated on that, but we have the power steering motor still has to be adjusted because it seems to kill our <laughs> <laughs> seems to yeah. kill our can't, engine if we turn too sharp. Can't take a sharp right. <laughs> yeah, or left for that matter. But it's even little things inside the van, and I think it doesn't matter if you have a very new one or a very old one. I think it's something to be expected. That's right. That you've got to do regular maintenance. You can't ignore little things because it adds up. Yeah. So yeah, there's minor things we have to do to the van itself and then of course to the RV part as well too. And uh, and we'll hopefully get all that done, get our, um, our solar and lithium back online and get that all charged up and ready to yeah. go. Can't wait to get on the road again. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, it's been a, a lonely winter of not camping this winter, so. <laughs> it's, a, it's hard watching other people's videos of where they all are. Hey, we've been there, we've been yeah. there. And it's like, <laughs> oh, let's just go. But now it was good to stay home too. So basically today what we wanted to do is let you know we are still around, we're still planning on camping. We'll try to keep the YouTube videos going, especially about camping and living in a van. And, uh, and we are starting to make plans, but we also know that so many things can change, so we need to hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.